Hello all you wonderful people, I'm Marvelexa and we're back with more level 1 Demon Souls. This episode, well, you knew it was coming eventually. Let's do some poison swamp walking. Now, uh, interestingly, I've uh, spoken before about the um, regen builds in this game and how that was one of the things I did with my first character. Um, the regen builds are so good in this game that they can actually outpace the uh, HP loss that you get from poison. If you have, like, the uh, regenerator's ring, the adjudicator's shield, and a blessed weapon. It all, um... Oh my goodness. Yeah, um... Then you, uh... Don't get, uh, don't get health gradually taking down like you normally would. I mean, you don't, it doesn't really pick up particularly quickly. But it does outpace the HP loss. Not sure that would be that feasible for this build to do. That's why I've uh, come equipped with a lot of uh, royal lotuses to heal the poison. Um, if I did want to try, I've, I actually have come equipped with uh, regeneration, uh, which is the HP gradual regen miracle. Now, actually, the interesting thing about spell slots in this game. I thought I only had one, but that is in fact not the case. I have one for magic spells and one for miracles. Uh, because they're not the same thing in this game. Oh yeah, you can't, can't roll in the poison. But yeah, you've, um... You've got the, uh, the spells for your, um, uh, uh, for your magic. And the amount of slots you have of that is de determined by your intelligence stat, which is basically like your attunement in later games. It, uh, decides how much, um, MP you have and how many slots you have. But it does not in any way govern how many um, miracle slots you have. That's governed by your faith. It's kind of weird because, like, um, your ability to cast uh, spells is kind of determined by two different stats, but that, that being your intelligence for the spell slots and for the um and for mp and your magic stat for how good the spells actually are whereas your ability to cast miracles is basically just governed by one oh my oh yeah yeah that's why these things are a pain because you can't roll in the poop. Uh, also, you may um, notice the lack of the lack of the bars filling up, telling you uh, how close you are to being poisoned. And also, uh, when you are poisoned, telling you like how much longer you have left until it goes away. Yeah, they um, just aren't in this game. Wait. Uh, a bit annoying because they are very convenient to have.
Oh yeah, and of course, um, not healing as much as I normally would with that grass because um, poison does limit your HP regen regain ability. I don't even know if this is the the right way or not. Kind of leaning towards it is not. I don't think the critical path had this many uh, jellyfish on it. As far as I can remember, anyway. Yeah, maybe I um, should have brought the antidote miracle instead. Oh well. There are numerous, like, uh, shinies out there on the, um, on the lake. I think we'll be getting most of them. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't. <laughs> shouldn't be making any kind of promises like that. Yeah, I, I, I in fact, kind of, like, immediately walk that back. Sucker stone. The um of course the uh thing for putting a bleed on your weapons. I prefer to think it that it's the game mocking me. Calling me a sucker for going out to that island. There's a glowy over there. It's weird because I think that's where I came from. Yeah, because like that. Oh, it's a glowy being left by a dead jellyfish. I'm definitely far off the beaten track now. We're not even um, kind of island hopping between the poop. trouble. Yeah, um, so you kind of see the problem with this phantom. She can roll in the poop and run through it absolutely no problem. Whereas we obviously can't. Yeah, and by where you um, drop down, you can actually see a crystal lizard all the way over there. 
as well as um, an extremely obvious shortcut. And yeah, we will be opening that one up. Because unlike the first area in the Valley of Defilement, this bit, despite being an extremely hostilely designed poison swamp, is at least sensibly designed enough to actually provide us with a shortcut rather than having to run through the entire level every time we want to get to the fog wall. Oh, another regenerator's ring. So yeah, there's um does appear to be like multiple copies of um quite a few rings in this game. It's an interesting way of doing it. Having uh, some redundancies for if you decide to go to um, a certain area first. So you don't get locked out of... Um, well, not locked out, because you're never really locked out of it, but like... Uh, just gives you more options. We're just uh, checking out the right side of the uh, main path here. Okay, something just died. <laughs> also the uh, the candle lights from the main, um, like the islands on what essentially constitutes the main path of the area. They can kind of um, get a bit confused for like item glowies. I mean, it's good that they're there, so um, they kind of guide you to where the correct path is, where you're supposed to go. But if your goal is thoroughly exploring the area and picking up all the shinies, then uh, it can be a bit of a pain. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, this... Uh, bit of a situation. I'm not sure why I'm bothering to heal, because I'm pretty sure you kill me in one hit. Okay, wonderful. And uh, thanks to a thief's ring, that guy didn't even know I was there it was too late. Wait, is this even kind of remotely close to where we were last time? Well, there's lots of jellyfish, but there's lots of jellyfish everywhere. Um, where's the phantom? There is um, the character who is essentially Manny to Mildred from Blight Town. At least, like, um, I never assumed that um, Manny to Mildred in Blight Town is kind of like a reference to this phantom. Then again, I'm not entirely sure this uh, phantom is like meant to be any kind of character in lore specifically. All I know is that she's awful. And she cheats. Being able to walk in... Poison Swamp when the player character can't. Oh my lord. Oh, 
I'm really doing the um, best job kind of um, keeping track of where my health is at all the time here. Oh no, you don't. I mean, healing the poison is kind of inevitably fighting a losing battle here, but try and control what you can. Okay, yeah, that's why I can't go get that shiny. Because there are walls. The shiny's over there, though. I think that direction is progress. It makes me think, um... Um, Manning to Mildred will be patrolling this area. Maybe I just missed wherever she was. But... Oh, the cat's ring. Um, we get to a, a better kind of more solid bit of ground. I'll uh, show that off. Pure sucker stone. Yep, just uh, continuing to mock me. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> okay, so the uh, the cat's ring. Have a look at it, shall we? Decreasing damage from falls. Now, you've seen what fall damage is in this game, so um, that's not particularly useful in terms of game mechanics, but it is amazing for one very specific thing. Look at the icon it gives you. It's just like this, this random stock photo of a cat, and it's amazing. Now you're a spear one, so I probably should shoot you because I don't want to get drawn into a proper fight here. Because if you watched the uh first video in this area, you know how annoying the uh, spear ones can be for me. Speaking of annoying. At least my character's fairly accurate with spells. Even if they are... Uh are extremely annoying to hit with melee attacks. Another spear user.
think, I think it's this bit in here, because like, um, I'm pretty sure what's supposed to happen here is that you go forward fighting these guys and more appear behind you. Hey, you wanna... Yeah. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Mm, there's two of them. Two spear guys. Let's just toast one of these before we go in then. I think I hear something behind me. Oh yeah, yeah, you can definitely tell they are up there. God, just hearing that noise over and over and over again. <laughs> Really something, isn't it? Oh god, no! Well, that's just fantastic, isn't it? What I, I might do here, actually, is, um... Will the swamp floor of this section... It's uh, walled off from the, the first bit. I have to assume there's some good things around here. And yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm instantly poisoned. Who would have thought? Another thief's ring. Extra over here. Yeah, that's a, that's a wall. It's weird because like you have to do the um the outskirts check up against kind of the walls on every side and then you have to do the um the path check as well. Get that right now. Yeah, because like this is um on a separate island away from the critical path. Okay. <laughs> so if, uh, coming all the way out here. Get one full heal. Does this bit even kind of... I think this is leading on to... Like the um, end of the level. This might even... Yeah, this might even take me all the way around to like where the um or where the boss is, but also like where the um shortcut is. It's like the island with a lot of glowies on over there is um something I definitely do remember from this area because it is death. There's like three or four of the really big dudes on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you see him there. You see him. And we are once again extremely thankful for... Thief's Ring. Um... I kind of might have accidentally stumbled into doing this level backwards. I keep hearing mosquitoes, but I'm not don't seem to be able to target any. And also, it doesn't seem to be. I think over here might be a bit that we're able to climb up. That's um two big ones though. Yeah, um 
Yeah, that is all kinds of a problem. <laughs> Goodness. Any more of you? really do like hearing that noise over and over again. Um, oh. Okay. So, um, it turns out there's, like, absolutely nothing of any value up this way at all, and dropping down is the, uh, is the progress path. So what does this even exist for? Wait, is that... Yeah, that's, um, things below us there, so, uh... But, like... Is any of this, like, um... I don't think this gets us anything that we couldn't have gotten otherwise. Oh, yep, yeah, it does. It gets us that. Whatever that was. And we just, uh, kind of missed it. So, um... I don't know if it's possible to get back up onto that path. Or what that item is. So let's, uh, try and find a way, I guess. I kind of have to assume it's something at least slightly important if they're willing to put it at the end of um of a pretty long path that is not the one to progress. Oh great. Yeah, that you you just can't get up there. I mean it's That's... That's just awful, isn't it? That's just awful. Okay, so let's uh, explore this path instead then. I say path, there's not really much um, around here that you would kind of classify as a path. Yeah, I think it kind of uh, starts more around here. Oh, there we go. Target them, please. Okay, I think we'll do the, um... Uh, the intended progress path first, and then, like, after we've unlocked the shortcut and everything, I think then we'll kind of, um, check this half of the, um, of the level for shinies. Um, 
loads of slugs around here. Not the same kind of slugs we saw in the last episode. They, um, they don't seem magic, they just seem kind of like your average slugs, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure why I'm bothering killing these. than I thought you would. And more of you keep dropping. And again, in a huge pile of them, very difficult to tell which ones are still alive and which ones are dead. Damn you. <laughs> oh, hang on. Do the dudes in that cave and at the top here just not respawn? That is weird. Oh, I've learned something new. Wait. There aren't slugs on the walls here either. Did they not come back? What are the rules of this place? I, don't, I just don't understand. that. Alright, just marrow stone. Like, actually, who cares? Um, I believe marrow stone, I don't think I've explained it yet, is uh, what you use to make weapons fatal. Which is another infusion you know, might be useful in certain circumstances, but not really to this build or anything like that. It um, reduces standard damage but increases uh, critical damage, which is like um, backstabs and parry repost. worried that um, killing these slugs for funsies is going to turn into another chase the crystal lizard off the cliff for funsies situation. Although it doesn't lose us, it doesn't lose us quite the same amount of time. Let's see what this is. Okay, game. <laughs> okay, let's um, carry on the main path then. Let's go. Uh, OK, 
Okay, you get over here. So there's a little friend behind him. It could be a problem. I mean, these aren't really very good spaces to, uh, to face them, but like, you can't face them in the swamp, obviously, because you can't roll. Oh my god, oh! Oh, I hate that. <laughs> so, um... That's something I didn't know could happen. Ah. Uh, I have to include that in the video then. Wait, this is the slug area. I know there's a bit where we can get kind of up there. But I don't know how. Yeah, that doesn't go up. Where does? There's, um... Well, I'd hesitate to say it's hugely important, because we're not going to use it, but, um... I do definitely want to show it off. Okay, so, um... I've died to these fucks way too many times to, um, bother trying to kill them. So, I'm gonna see if I can just scoot around without them noticing. Real stealthy like. Okay, this guy's noticed, but... Well, I don't think you can kill me in one hit, so I do not care. Well, he's glowing purple, so I think that kind of would indicate he's a bit more powerful than the average ones. So, um, maybe he can kill me in one hit. I don't know. Never rule anything out in this area. And it's you hey, again. I know you. Won't you buy something? My poor child is sick. He needs your help. Okay, then. What do you got? Same stuff, mostly. Any use? I got the Murden set, but, like, that's way too heavy for us. And that's like the uh, starting equipment of the, um, I think there's Temple Knight class, or something like that. And it's the one that starts with, like, um... Finished already. Yeah. Melee capabilities as well as, uh, faith. Kept throwing the spells there just out of principle. <laughs>
Oh my god. Hey, uh, how many sound bites should we record for these guys dying? There's an awful lot of them, so, uh. <laughs> You know, if we only have one, it's going to get a bit repetitive. Sake. Oh, that is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, doesn't seem to have wasted too much time at least. Let me kill one of them. <laughs> What am I course on here? Honestly, just like hearing that one stupid soundbite over and over and over again, that's like one of the, the main things keeping me going here. Because uh, I am not having a good time with this level otherwise. Although, like to be honest, now that we're kind of... um. on something approaching solid ground again. It's uh it's a lot better. Like the main problem isn't the uh the poison whilst going through the swamp, it's the um it's the slow movement, lack of a lack of a dodge roll. And then they uh throw things at you that kill you in one hit. camera really is just kind of like doing its own thing on this level with the um, the low ceilings. Yeah, it's just uh, just a candle. It's not a not a shiny. Goodness, this is uh, very confusing. Oh my god. No, we definitely heal. We do not care about... Okay. 
So that's a thing you can do. Interesting. Oh, that's not a thing they can do. That's a thing you can do. Oh, the purple glowy dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm still pointing, aren't I? Uh, and difficult to tell which of these are like um, just the candles and which are item glowies. I think I'm doubling back on myself now, just um, exploring a slightly higher elevation of the same area I was just going over. Mostly just soul items. Two-handing that. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just, it just it just really cracks me up. Goodness. Okay, yeah, that there is um, the boss arena. So we don't quite want to do that just yet. Priority number one at this very moment has to be open that shortcut. Oh, I can't get back up that way. Oh my goodness. I didn't do that, I didn't notice. I know I've come this way because there's a bunch of, um, bunch of dead ones still around. Oh, oh camera, why? <laughs> why? I don't even know what which is the, the right way to be going anymore. And all turned around and discombobulated. Okay, that's the uh, boss folklore. Extra this. Unless this is the um, bit that goes back to the... Um, uh, in that case, what's over here? Okay, more soul items. Right, uh, this definitely does appear to be the uh, bit that goes round to where the uh, shortcut is, so let's um, check that out. Oh, come on. Come on now. It's like 
absolutely the last thing that I want right now is to be knocked off the edge. That would be so bad. It's not going to have anything good, is it? Like the best thing it could have would be like faint stone, but yeah, mm, okay. but like even that's not very useful because I don't think I'm going to be um, making or upgrading any blessed weapons. Hey, okay, that's the shortcut. Oh yeah, the it, it kind of half expect it was just going to be like more um, marrow stone or sucker stone or something. Still not useful. Although, like, um, higher upgraded uh, blessed weapons do give you more HP regen, so even if you're not going to use it because you don't have, like, a, a faith build, you're not going to use it for damage, you can still use it for the HP regen effects. Just switch out to a, to a better weapon whenever you're actually fighting anything. Um, see what this is. Not sure if those like if it's got to be some reason to drop down here, right? It's got to be some items. Oh, fuck. I just got to kill you on principle now. Okay. Um, well, there's, the, there's that as well. That's just another soul item. Just do um, another exploration of the uh, of the wider poop swamp area. Oh yeah, I'm almost dead. done with this we will just uh, go to the boss and kill it um, I'm just floating in midair yep it sure is really something Oh my goodness. I, I don't even know where I am anymore. Okay, that's the... Uh... Is this just like an enclosed area? I think it is. Oh, that's weird. So, yeah, that's not exploring the uh, greater poop swamp area at all let's um get out to an area that is exploring the greater poop swamp okay yeah i think yeah i think this um last area in the um shantytown bit is kind of cordoned off from the second area even Um, yeah, it's a bit strange, but it's kind of feels like it might be serving, like it, its purpose might be getting you to do the second bit properly. So the uh, thing we did earlier with the um, 
Yeah, I think we did earlier with the... Just running in the uh, swamp bit is... Uh, Okay, so we're back um, around about the place of the uh, second fog wall. Because there did seem to be uh, more stuff kind of over in that direction that we can get. Let's uh, explore over there for a bit, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we're poisoned, I know. Not yet, yeah. Okay. Um, this be the way to go, but is there anything more over this direction? Hard to tell if that's just a wall or something. Yeah, there's just a wall. Don't appear to be any glowies either. Alright, let's uh, see what's up the ramp then. Another slug. Yeah, this is this is the bit that's above the uh, the slug area. Or earlier, I tried to work out how we got up there. See what this shiny is first. I mean, really, how much of a legendary hero could that, that possibly have been? I mean, they died to slugs, presumably. And you, I've died to slugs too. Also killed some very powerful demons. Not sure to what extent you'd uh, consider Don't Hurt Me to be a, a legendary hero. That's entirely for you to decide yourself. Just down here. Right, now um, doing that was very important. As uh, you can see something pretty special there. Um, well... First, let's uh, deal with the fact that there are altogether way too many slugs here. Okay. One for de-slugging of the area later. Withdraw weapon. And that's the uh, Moonlight Greatsword, or Large Sword of Moonlight, as it is extremely awkwardly known in this game. And, uh, 
Here's another bit of uh, early installment weirdness that you get from this game. In fact, one of the biggest ones of the game, actually. As well as being having a weird name, it's also a faith weapon. Requires 24 faith and scales with an S in faith. Wait, are you the, s the other slug around here that has the uh, other cool item? I know there's something around here that does. Yes, you are. Fantastic. Okay, so, um, a bit of um, inventory organization later. I've picked it all up. And that is actually important, um... In this game, because if you get a cannot carry it would overburden you message, I think that does mean that um, if you reload the area, it will be gone. I think that's how it works in this game anyway. Uh, even with like unique things, because it's basically it's like you try to pick them up and like it moves the uh, the glowy and it makes it makes them like like the ones you drop like that. So, yeah, if you try and fail to pick something up, I think it does just effectively prevent you from coming back to pick it up. I mean, what I could have also done is actually use the Ring of Herculean Strength now that I think about it, but I didn't consider that at the time. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got the Dull Gold set, which, of course, we can't make any use good use of, but it's... um. What my first character used. I do like the look of it quite a bit. It's the um, the armor of a character who will also be appearing here after we've beaten the bosses because um, she's like a, a pure white world tendency thing. Uh, also, like a, a, a quirk with it is that yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's female only. There was uh, gender specific items in this game, which is uh, just another early installment weirdness of this game compared to later Dark Souls games. And there are male uh, specific armor as well. But anyway, I think that's um, like all the important things around the swamp taken care of, so pretty much just the boss left. So I'll cut to there. Alright, um... <laughs> that other set we picked up is uh, a male-only set of equipment. I basically just realized that when I'm um, here depositing everything with uh, Stockpile Thomas. Go! Dirty Colossus. Okay. Okay! Okay, take two. This time, um, along the way, I kind of accidentally got into red tear stone ring range. Okay, let's try that again. Um, I can't even target it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yep, that's um <laughs> That's a red tear stone ring Morian blade for ya. <laughs>
Okay, so I've been back and died in the Nexus, as you do, you know the drill by now. Um, it actually is the path to the next area anyway. It's down, isn't it? Yeah. Get the plague, um, plague curing lotuses. There is going to be plague in here. Probably equip some then, actually, shouldn't I? Go forth, Galvinid. May you be unharmed. Oh, there we go. I was just thinking it's weird that I don't get the music. This is a sanctuary for the lost and wretched. There is nothing here for you to pillage or plunder. Please, leave quietly. Mm, funny you should say that, because I'm, um, there is something here for me to pillage or plunder. I need your soul. Nothing specifically against you, I just, uh, I just need it. Oh. Oh. Okay. just gonna stand there blocking, I think. Okay. Kind of hit me, but not quite. Oh, he tries parrying you. Sure have. Mm -hmm. oh, cool, we got all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Actually, 
Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to get plagues kind of like immediately upon touching this. And it's going to take our health down really quick. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Are we the baddies? Who can say, really? But, yes. Yeah, the answer to that is yes. <laughs> uh, while we're back in the Nexus, um, doing the whole depositing things to stop Pile Thomas and dying thing. Um, that ring we just got, the um, Ring of Sincere Prayer. Uh, when you do a miracle with it equipped, you get uh, a rather familiar gesture. Yeah, that's where Praise the Sun originated. So, as I've done in the last video, I want to show off some uh, White World Tendency events. You may notice this ladder is here now, and it wasn't before. Let's see what, uh, what we can find up here, shall we? you at once. Wonderful. Oh, a big dude. Thankfully it's, um, one with uh, first area stats, not the ones that kill me in one hit. Oh my lord, <laughs> three big dudes. Get over here, Maduda. I could just kill you with uh, this, actually, because, like... Uh, didn't make um, coming over to stop me killing him a big priority, did he? <laughs> see what this is. Isterel. It's a uh, faith-based spear. Oh, increased resistance to plague and poison, hey? Best thing. Oh, she's just right there. Okay, yeah, so this is um, just after the first fog wall. In the second area. 
You see this character? Wearing that cool gold armor we picked up by um, killing a slug for some reason. Why? You are one of the sane ones, are you not? I am Selen of the West. I seek my brother, Gal Vinland, the knight who accompanied Saint Astria on her travels. I believe they settled here. If you happen to see my younger brother, please tell me. I must share with him the last words of our father. Um. <laughs> I won't tell if you don't. <laughs> I heard an unflattering rumor about Saint Astria. Have you met that herb peddling woman? She claims that Saint Astria is herself a demon. That woman has no reason to lie. Surely she must be mistaken. Well, she does have a demon soul. I find something odd about this place. It brims with grime, but at once feels strangely pure. I find something odd. It okay. So that's uh, all she'll say for now. And the last thing left is to come back to the Maiden Australia boss room. And uh, look who's back. Phantom version of Gull Vinland. This guy is a real pain in the ass. So, um, normal tactics have failed. Let's cheat this out. You're just going to stand there and be a jerk. We'll wait this whole time. Okay, great. <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> felt fair. All right, and um, with that, go back to sailing Vin Vinland here. See what she has this to say. Crest, that is a Vinland heirloom meant for my younger brother. So, my brother and Astria have both strayed from the path of God. The poor souls. Perhaps their hearts were too pure. Mbasa. Oh, traveling warrior. I hesitate to ask, but can you part with that crest? Gaal has strayed from the path of righteousness. But I wish to have the heirloom in honor of our Vinland blood. I shall reward you in kind. Yeah, of course. Thank you, kind warrior. As Garl's sister, I express my deepest thanks for your honoring of his name. Please accept this. Oh, yeah. We did. It was intended <laughs> for my him. brother. <laughs> yeah. But now it should belong to that, you. That's what we did. <laughs> May the angels gaze favorably upon you. Umbasa. 
So there's angels in this um, ill-defined cosmology of this land as well then, hey? But yeah, the um, Ring of Devout Prayer that we have there is um, going to be pretty helpful. Because it gives us an extra miracle slot. And with that extra miracle slot, we can come over to St. Urbane. Oh, is that you again? Do you have further gifts to offer? We can learn Second Chance. And, oh wait, we need to unequip that. And we can finally equip it. God bless this brave warrior. Mbasa. Um, and also we have enough uh, MP to cast it. But only if we equip both the Silver Coronet, which gives us more MP, and the Silver Catalyst, which also gives us more MP. Uh, both of which were, of course, um, starting equipment for this class. So yeah, with that... And finally cast Second Chance. And that's the uh, this game's equivalent of Tears of Denial. So it revives us when we die. Except in this game it's actually even better. Because it revives you at 50% HP rather than just leaving you at 1. So it's pretty good to have. Of course, every time you want to cast it, there's the whole equipment reshuffle you have to do, but... You know, the price you pay. Anyway, with that... I think that's um, all there all there is for the Valley of Defilement, so I'm going to put a cut in here. See you next time. Thanks for watching.